Okay, Ethan has picked his choices. He's he's working for a computer. Uh, he's going to work a little bit more on some fine motor tasks that look a lot like writing. And then also some reading tasks about letters. So on here, I'm going to show you two different ways to do uh, tracing. So we usually do uppercase letters. And this one, I've just written these three letters on there. And then he's going to trace those. Uh, we're looking for him tracing them as precisely as possible. And not scribbling and not doing any other behaviors. So the other option, and I can provide this one to my families, is a worksheet that actually has the letters there and it's dot letters. So this one was me writing it with a solid kind of tracing and this one's more dots. So he is going to trace those. And we'll pretend like he did the whole sheet. He did a great job. So he gets his check for following through and doing what he's supposed to. Then another task that we do is matching letter. And I just did the first three letters, wrote them on a little cards, little pieces of paper. And he's going to match the letter. So we're looking for him to match it to the exact sample, A to A, B to B, etc. So that's match to sample with letters. We also can do identifying letters. So if I say, Ethan, show me A, he'd point to the A, show me B, he points to the B, etc. So that is matching and identifying letters. Uh, and he gets a check for making a great choice on that. So one of the other ones we do that's a pre-reading task is identifying his own name. So I have three names that I've written on cards, and I provide those to him. And so I say, Ethan, show me your name, and he finds his name. Uh, then I can ask it several more times. I always try to move the correct answer so he's not just pointing to whatever's on the right side or left side or middle. So if I say, Ethan, show me your name, and he finds it again. So that is identifying your own name and he gets a check for making a great job so good job e you are in computer